Good evening, everybody. I do love our theme song. Welcome to What's on Joe Mind, Special Edition 82. Special. <laughs> not that special. Hang on now. We're going to make it special, but we're not quite that special yet. I'm your host, Mike Irizarry. We are a fan cast about the world of G.I. Joe. Uh, I have a whole different room of rogues with me this evening. Uh, we gave the honcho and rack time Rob the night off. Instead, we've got uh, the author of the After Action Report Command Files, Greg Augustin, and uh, co-publisher Roger Taft. We've uh, talked to these guys just a few weeks ago on What's on Joe Mind 253. Uh, you can go back uh, after we're done here tonight. Go back, check it out if you have uh, any questions about what's going on uh, with the command files. Uh, but uh, we're, we're here to, to do a little special edition and help these guys uh, push that Kickstarter project over the finish line. Uh, first off... Oh. Do want to say congratulations? Uh, it did fund already for you, uh, so that's not something we're gonna have to sweat out these last few days. Congratulations! <laughs> yes, thank you. Have to sweat out whether people back out right now because we're like right <laughs> there over the edge, just barely. <laughs> right, you have you have met your twenty five thousand yeah. dollar funding goal. No. Uh, congratulations! It uh, it's all, it's cheers all cheers to the cheers to all the backers. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Got a yojo cold, man. I just yeah, got yeah. that. Yeah. With that, <laughs> yeah, went all out, didn't you? Yeah, Rogers, Rogers got water because he, yeah, <laughs> I'll send you a case. Okay, after you ask. Yeah, I got a question for you, Mike, right off the top. Sure. How many more episodes do we have to be on before we get into the intro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it, look, look. If if nobody sends me pictures, then I don't have pictures to put in the intro. Is all I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough, sir. I, I don't I don't get the time to uh, fidget with those very much, so I gotta. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, really, that's 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 ev just about every photo that is not of an action figure from our Facebook page is in our <laughs> info. That's how, that's how much effort is there. Like nobody takes pictures to send to us. That's True. what you get when you're. When you, I mean, we've been on, we've been doing this show for twelve years now, but most of it was all audio. So yeah, that's true. That's true. Who took pictures? <laughs> Nobody. It was just a picture of the computer. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> That's all you Got to refresh those assets one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, last weekend, Roger, you guys were something of a celebrity. You and Josh, you were out in Chicago doing a, a book signing. That we were. We were hanging out with Josh Blaylock and Sam Wells at, at uh, Sam's shop up in uh, Chicago at uh, Toy Du Jour. Spent the day signing autographs and selling books. That was about it. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. I did it all in one day because I didn't want to stay overnight. So got up early, flew in, did the thing, flew out. Oh, Jesus. Uh, get, like in, a, get out, nobody gets hurt. Like yeah. A yeah. Celebrity. Yeah. yeah, I had four other bookings that day. So, you know, I had to be quick. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't want to fly you in for that one, Greg? Come on. No. Uh, I, could, I couldn't make it out there. <laughs> this time was booked calendar. Maybe next time around. Uh, yeah, I'd, love to, I'd love to meet the Josh and them, yeah. Yeah. You will. You will. Uh, sounds like uh, Rogers Bunch is being taffed uh, short on you, Greg. Be That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Holding out on me. Right. You need to get some riders in the next contract for volume two there. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Doing all the press. We'll talk about volume two later, by the way. Okay. Kind of tease that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, at, at the risk of running real long, we want to kind of keep this short and sweet so that uh, folks are, are more inclined to watch the whole thing. Uh, sure. I'm going to give the, let kind of turn the floor over to these guys so they can talk about everything that you, the viewer at home, in the comfort of your living room, needs to know before you pledge your hard-earned ducats towards After Action Report Command Files Volume One. Yeah. Well, yeah. Quick elevator pitch, though. Yeah. It, um, After Action Report got to spit it out. After Action Report Command Files. Um, it's a unofficial GI Joe character guide. Most of you, I might might just is going to send a link out to the previous episode we we're on but overall it's uh it's like a dream project for me and i'm still really like jazz that we just recently funded this thing uh we started in like february 15th as a kickstarter running in 60 days and we're just at that cusp i uh, just want to thank all the backers um and all the support we got we got for this um again really quick it's really kind of uh if you remember order of battle back in the um marvel um our days uh they came up with this marvel universe version of the uh joe 
uh, file cards um, and printed them. And I always wanted to see that extended. And that's what I did with my project. Uh, not only brought over the file card content and continued with every single character that came out with uh, since uh, 1982 with a file card, put them in the book um, and added additional images from the cartoons, from movies, from other comic continuities and really great multimedia type tribute to Joe. So um, real quick in terms of how many characters is the book is like 144 pages, 120 Joes in that book. Um, we are going to have a volume two because we couldn't fit all that gram in one, one volume. But uh, in terms of kind of the uh, approach that we took with that book is we didn't go alphabetical order with it. I went with kind of putting these special teams together. Like when we were with kids, we had our Joe figures. We had a, there's an Arctic team, there's a desert team and kind of played it off there and kind of dove into the world of those special operations with these file cards of kind of like setting them up in terms of what these special mission force actually would kind of be deployed. The real, real true order of battle, if you will. Right. Um, so you got them grouped by theme and not by any yeah. weird alphabetical by order. God, right, right. right. You know, we don't want to do things the way they've been done before. We're breaking well, the ground. I mean, the truth of the matter is, too, if we were to do alphabetical order, you wouldn't see Snake Eyes and Scarlet and Stalker until volume two. And we right. wanted to get them up front, give them their spot right up front. Right. Um, um, all along the comp campaign, though, we've been teasing. I think at the beginning of April, I started to tease out on afteractionreport.net um, daily reveals of pages. Um, just to show folks what we're doing. I mean, remember that when we started this project, when I hooked up with Josh and After Action Report, I had like the book like 90% done already. It's just doing a little tweak and putting the After Action Report um, um, dressing, if you will, trade dressing on it, if you will. Um, and so because of that, I just started leaking out pages. And um, I think I have a special exclusive one that for which, what's on your mind that I pre prepped. want to yeah. throw it on there. Excellent. Is it now? Now? Yeah, now you can do it now. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Wetsuit and Deep Six. Yeah. Um, again, I had these like prepped like in the past 10 years. I've been working on this, but I've, I've, I've tweaked it, updated the content, created a little bit more um, kind of footnotes and a nod to where these figures and file cards and information have gone before. Um, again, here are kind of the big takeaways that the content remains transcribed from the original uh, Hasbro file cards or original writings of Larry Hama uh, and then threw it in there the kind of imagery that we've um, that we come to love these characters in the Sunbow continuity I even have a deke in there um, everywhere from more seriously IDW appearances so just a real kind of uh, tip of the hat to what is Joe for the past 40 years yeah yeah and real representations of each iteration rather than just random art you know we wanted to we wanted to cover what they actually looked like in those iterations yeah and so from uh now until the close of the fundraiser you can check out afteractionreport.net daily and, and check out the reveal this is one of them that's a, exclusively for 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 this show along with this kickstarter campaign there were a number of add-ons that we had on there we have like a all-in-one um a, like um, backer tier that had a cool like sh um, satchel bag that one with there I think it was 280 buy-in for that but we had other things like the, the special uh, metal bookmark um, I also have a, a poster uh, that shows the actual a teams deployed throughout the globe everywhere from uh, deployed to Sierra Gordo and to uh, Trucial Abysma all the folk, all the kind of places that Larry had sent Joe's over in the comic in the comic continuity so that's kind of laid out and it gives you a little like rhyme or reason the rationale of how how we've we've structured the book as well so mm -hmm. 144 pages about 120 joes 100 or sorry um you know, broken up into eight and nine uh a teams if you will um so i hope every every enjoys it well folks that have backed this have seen it and i'm really happy and, and thanks again um for all the for all the support on that the question has come up how do you do add-ons because it's it's not super clear um the easiest way to do it is to change your pled pledge donation and um basically add on the amount of money that you want to use to purchase the add-ons and then uh at the end of the uh, campaign we will be sending out the questionnaire and in that question will be did you want to purchase add-ons that are covered by your your pledge to something to have uh, to that effect. So if you got a $10 item, just add $10 to your, to your pledge or 
you want to want the full all at all in, which I think is two hundred and eighty dollars, which includes the leather bag and all of our add ons. That includes uh, the ones that are on your screen now, the uh, the Joe versus Spy Balloon mini comic and the uh, Miller versus um, Data Desk handbooks that uh, that uh, Rising Sun has put out for us. And those are exclusive to this campaign. You won't be able to get those from any other source, but after action report, um, the Miller verse comics are essentially the rising sun version of, of, uh, command files. And it has the, the characters that are within the expanded universe that, uh, that rising sun has been publishing. It's, uh, the, basically the extended version of devil's Do's uh, world war three. And it includes characters from cops and action force and, and other, uh, Marvel prop or, excuse me, Hasbro properties. Um, but they, some of the, some of this content was published in the back of, of the uh, books as they were the comics, as they were published, they were one or two page add ons there, but uh, these include ones that were never published. And uh, it is all put together as, as though it were, you know, a uh, order of battle for the Millerverse. Um, and the Joe versus spy balloon that is, Based on current events, of course, and uh, we're, it's a very tongue-in-cheek look at uh, politics and and how GI Joe might fit into it in a, in, a, in a world that has to be politically correct. <laughs> Next, I guess we need to talk about the uh, the add-ons themselves and um, what you can get for your money. <laughs> um, the map that uh, Greg was just mentioning, the A teams map, the the locations of each team, uh, that's a ten dollar add-on. Um, the sh you can add ten dollars to ship the books immediately. The not the not the final book, but the uh, add-on books. Uh, that's a, a ten dollar add-on, so you can get them early. Um, then you have the uh, the metal bookmark. That's a separate add-on. And are those holdovers from your previous campaigns for uh, the comic guide? That we're a little bit up in the air on. Um, we do have leftovers from the original. If we get enough orders, we may do a new run in a different color. Okay. So the original were brass. We may we may order more in silver and make that, you know, this this book's uh, bookmark. Okay. So we'll just have to see how many orders there are. Because if we have enough to cover it, we're probably just going to go with the original. But uh, if we do have to order, we will get it in a different color. I like the metal bookmark. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. I like Solid it. Solid stuff, yeah. <laughs> hey, before you forget, Roger, there's one other item that Mike has a graphic on too, is the dust jacket. This will be in color when it's finished, uh, but this is done by Jamie Sullivan, and he's uh, it's a dust jacket that can be used for any of our books. Um, those are all the same size, so it fits right over them, uh, but it can also be used as a poster if you choose to do, use it that way. Um, I guess that's all there is to say about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pretty cool. But uh, for for the folks that that maybe aren't getting a real clear image of it, just just we've got uh, some of the original twelve Joes, yeah. Joe's Iwo, Iwo Jima impression. Uh, we've yeah. got sky strikers and explosions and all the exactly. stuff that make life work living going in the background. Yeah. Uh, very very much inspired by that uh, first splash page on GI Joe number one back in eighty two. Yes, yeah. totally. Which of course was Iwo Jima based. <laughs> right. Right, Honcho will be happy because Steelers, Steelers in there screaming like he's, ah. <laughs> like he's just you know, scored the winning touchdown. Yes, so. there you go. Yeah, the dust jacket is a twenty dollar add on. Okay, and, 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 and that will be in full color. Yes, that will be in full color. That's just the state of the art as it sits right now. So those of you who have backed us way back in February, yeah, go ahead and dip in and see if there's these other new goodies available to you. Um, I think at the time of this recording, we were, we, we did uh, reach our goal. We're at like 102% covered, but a couple of days left. Yep. I'm not sure, Mike, when we're going to go live or we're going to post this, but yeah, a couple more days to get those goodies into your basket. Right. Um, and, and enjoy. And yeah. If you, if you haven't pledged at all yeah. and you're, you're the fun. type that only, yeah. only likes to pledge – uh, products that you know you're going to get. You guys can yeah. now jump in and do the the immortal three letter three letter three word. What's on Joe Mind phrase? Pledge with confidence. Confidence. There you, you know? go. <laughs> yeah, we're oh. there. This book is going to happen. It's it's on its way to you. Uh, we just got to get through these last few days. You might as well jump on, get yourself a copy, and continue this fine edition 
uh, to the after action report library. Oh, I didn't want me to set up a close because we have one more what's on your mind exclusive announcement and right. that Roger did a great job of bar, uh, brokering. Pasco oh, the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Kirk Bozigian will be doing our intro for this book as well. Um, talking about more about the uh, development of characters and the file cards and that kind of thing. Of course, we don't know what he's going to say yet. He's, <laughs> but he's agreed to say it, whatever it's going to be. <laughs> Which actually hits me really close because I'm a product manager by trade and he's a product guy back in the days. And so that that actually seals it, make, makes it all more sweet to have them there. He's not, not just a... Not just a great GI Joe guy. He's your product managing hero. He's my product idol. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> got an, an influenced an entire generation of boys. <laughs> right. Totally, totally. An entire, um, an entire generation of product managers. Yeah, as far as the eye can see. Absolutely. <laughs> And then I guess as we're winding down here, just to close things up, just timeline wise, yeah. Once we shut down, or once the the campaign closes on the fifteenth. Um, I'm quickly going to get my final file out for a quick edit. And then first, uh, beginning of May, it's going to get sent out to the printers and we'll see how that goes in terms of the, uh, printing timelines and logistics, not promising that it'll be available by Joe Fest and could airmail it. But in terms of, uh, kind of getting the book in the hands of backers, it'll be like summertime. Yeah, most most assuredly. Um, and then speaking of Joe Fest, I don't remember the exact dates. Like it's in the ninth or ninth yeah, or the tenth. I think. Week of, yeah, it's the eighth and ninth, I think. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna try to get the next Kickstarter going that that week ahead, the, the, just before Joe Fest. Yep, Volume Two will be on its way. And or, we're still uh, campaign working, on its way. Yep. Yeah, we're still working out the details, but at Joe Fest, we should have Josh Blaylock. Heck, excuse me. <laughs> we should have Josh Blaylock there to sign autographs at his first G.I. Joe event since he stopped publishing Devil's Due comics. Or since Devil's Due stopped publishing G.I. Joe comics, I should say, because he's still a publisher for Devil's yeah. Due. Uh, he still writes and, and publishes that. Uh, but since they lost the G.I. Joe license, this will be his first G.I. Joe event. So it's been about 15 years since that happened. Sure. Yeah. I mean, not that there's been that many exclusive G.I. Joe events. No. Yeah. Instead. But still, several Joe Cons still happened in that time, and Joe Fest is what this is like the fifth or sixth year. So, I mean, you could argue and, that you could argue that Joe Fest isn't even a GI Joe event, but well, yeah. But then you got the <laughs> assembly required and a few others. Right, right. hasn't hasn't been at any of those, and they're all GI Joe centric. So there you go. There you go. I'm just saying. I don't. I don't want to make it sound like he's ducking out on us. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. <laughs> He's but if you're a Joe up. fan and you like Joe Josh Blaylock, then uh, here's your chance. <laughs> Get him he, two and one. Regardless if you like him or not, you certainly owe him a debt of gratitude. That's yes, true. Um, just uh, you know, there was there were not a, a a ton of not a ton of takers on the GI Joe comic property back in the day, and Devils Dude stepped up to the plate and did. That's good on him. But um, gentlemen, do you have any last last words before we get on out of here for tonight? Just again, just a, just enormous appreciation, gratitude for this show, getting the word out, and all the backers that are jumping on. Appreciate it. Absolutely. This is our fourth book. I'm glad you're all out there enjoying them. And we just made it over the finish line. And we just got to get a few more people to make sure we stay over the finish line. I, 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 Insurance I, runs, right? Yeah. Right. Have, have some have some faith in your backers, Roger. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hey, but uh, follow. Follow the link down below. That'll take you right to the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, be sure to, to pledge your hard-earned money. Uh, yes. This is going to be a quality book. If it's anything like the previous After Action Report books, it's going to be a great book. Yes, it uh, will. And, and you will have a hole in your collection if you miss it. So, uh, or, or you could wait two years, get it on eBay, and spend $300 on it. Right, right. <laughs> that doesn't help you guys. That's no extra money in your pocket. No, none whatsoever. So. No, no. You want it all now. 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 If you want more books, you better back this book. <laughs> we want we want volume two. You better get your butt on to volume one. Yeah. So, volume two can't happen without volume one. Absolutely. For for the author, Greg Augustine, uh, for the co-publisher, Roger Taft, I'm Mike Arizari. Thanks so much for joining us here on What's on Joe Mind, Special Edition 82. We will catch you next, uh, next time on the team stream. I don't know. Might be tomorrow. Might be next week. I don't know when this is going to happen. We'll figure it out later. Have a great evening, everybody. Or you too. Thank you. Whenever.
I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,